Gabe, where is Josie? Where's my daughter? She's currently out in the field. I don't have any idea of her exact location. We do have several dozen officers involved in this investigation. I can tell you that she is participating in the search for facts and women. Okay. Charlene, your daughter is a superior police officer. She knows how to take care of herself. Yes. Yes, she does. Charlene, she's going to be okay. Yeah. She's going to be all right. She is. She's okay. straight through. Mr. Jordan is one very, very lucky man. When can I question him? He's unconscious. Do you have any idea when he's going to come out of it? Not really. It could be a couple of hours. We need to talk to him before that. Josie was at the scene when uh, Jordan was shot. We've got to talk to him and find out whether or not Newman took her hostage. I'm here for Josie, so you let her go, and I won't kill you. Come out where I can see you, and we'll talk about it. Yeah, right, idiot. You want Josie back to draw out your gun. Actually. <clears throat> Father's Day, huh? Yes. Hey, I brought you something. Oh, what are you doing? You didn't come have to do on. that. I know I love to shop. Open it. Come on. Mm. Uh, I don't quite know what to say. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just thought maybe it would be just the thing. For what, Mr. Blackwell's worst dress list? <laughs> yes, something like that. Go ahead, put it on. Over my clothes? Yeah, go on. It'll fit you and I'm sure several of your friends. <clears throat> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I just, I just, I just wanted to hear you laugh again. <laughs> and uh, I know you don't feel like laughing right now, but that's okay. Uh, and until you do, 
I'll put on the stupid shirt. <laughs> yes, something like that. <laughs> My dear friend. <laughs> anyway, I want to talk business. Take this off. I, uh, I made an executive decision about Wallingford's. I hope you don't mind. What is it? I closed the store until after Labor Day. I just think it's one less thing we have to worry about, don't you? That's, that's a relief. I God. appreciate that. You know what? I think it may be just a little too soon for you to be watching home movies. See what I mean? Oh, no. I had to see her again. Just one more time. I miss her. watching this, I realized that a significant part of my life was this wonderful relationship I had with Frankie. It was its own unique thing. It was a work of art, a mosaic, something that you added another piece to every day. It was something that we both collaborated on, that we worked very hard for, and it was an absolute joy for us, and I hate the man who took it away from me. I have something I have to tell you right now. What is it? The police. They know who the killer is. Who is it? Fax Newman. Dr. Hudson will say something about Fax Newman. There are a lot of rumors flying around. Give him one gram of Vansef, okay? As soon as he comes to, let's get him to a private room. Tell the nurses on the floor to keep an eye on the swelling in your neck. I want to keep that airway open. <sighs> Mr. Jordan is a lucky man. Newman's bullet almost killed him. You mean that it's true? Fax is the stalker? Well, the cops are trying to haul him in right now, if they can track him down. I can't believe that. I mean, I've worked with Dr. Newman every day. Yep, he's sick. Oh, my God. Then he killed Courtney. Yes, he did. I'm so sorry, Morgan. I'm... I just can't wait till the cops haul him in. I can't wait to see him. This is unbelievable. I mean, Fax Newman. He just does not look like a killer to me. He was, he was good looking. I mean, just, I mean, what I mean is just that every woman in the hospital wanted to go out with him. No, not anymore. You know, I, mean, I, I had a weird feeling about him. One time I went out to lunch with him. What do you mean you had a weird feeling about him? What did he say? He, well, he just wouldn't talk about himself. I mean, I'd ask him questions, you know, about his family, where he grew up, his past. Yeah, then what did he say? Well, he would never answer me directly. He'd always turn it around and he'd ask me questions right back. Yeah, well, he wasn't about to give anything away, was he? No, he made me really uncomfortable because, I mean, he just seemed a little too interested in my personal life. But he didn't want to get into any stuff about his own. No, he's got a lot to hide. <sighs> Cops better haul him in soon before someone else gets hurt. You think that facts took Josie? We can't be sure. That's why I have to talk to Jordan. He was the last one to see Josie in the jewelry store with Newman. Have you told Charlene? No, not yet. Then don't. She's distraught enough about Frankie. She can't handle it anymore. Listen, I'm not going to say anything until I get an updated report. Okay. As soon as Jordan regains consciousness, feel free to question him. I'm going to see if I can get Charlene to go home. Thanks. Hey. Hey. You feeling better? Um. Uh... Yeah, you know, I'm really sorry that I fell apart like that before. Yeah, well, that's understandable. I mean, a lot of stress lately, especially you now that Frankie. I mean, that was a shock to all and of us. And you know, missing her memorial service is a, a biggie with me. Uh, you know, and I know you couldn't get any word to us. We were out there on that. No, river. no, no. You don't blame yourself. I mean, you and Gregory needed to get away. You must be uh, exhausted, to you. You want me to take you home? No, I'm not going. No, no, I'm not going to go home till I track down Josie. And uh, you know, if she's out there looking for this guy, then I, I know she could be in danger. John, Captain, I would really like to know where my daughter is. Oh, like I said, Charlene, she's following up a lead on the facts in the case. Why am I starting to get a bad feeling about this?
Nice try, Sinclair. That trick went out with Hopalong Cassidy. Don't move. I'll kill you right where you stand. 